whereas when there is excess of trapping of this heat that means when when there is excess of greenhouse effect it increases the earth's uh, temperature of earth beyond a limit and that is called global warming okay so global warming means heating of earth heating of globe so when there is excess of heat trap in earth atmosphere it results into formation of global warming so greenhouse effect is not a problem that is a natural phenomena which is required because if there is no greenhouse effect the temperature of earth would be very low and we will not be able to survive here so greenhouse effect is good but when there is excess of greenhouse effect it results into global warming okay now what happens that when uh, infrared radiations actually infrared radiations are those uh, components of sunlight which are responsible for the heating for the heat when they reach earth uh, earth surface earth absorb all those infrared radiations and the temperature of earth surface increases let me repeat once again heat from uh, or we can say infrared radiations from the uh, sun reach earth surface earth surface absorb all those radiations because of which its temperature increases now after some time when the temperature of earth becomes decent it starts emitting those infrared radiations back into atmosphere which is very a natural phenomena that whenever body becomes heat or, or its temperature increases it radiates back heat so after some time when the temperature of earth surface has increased earth starts radiating back that heat into atmosphere but in atmosphere there are certain gases like carbon dioxide methane even water vapors and chlorofluorocarbons these all gases have a tendency to absorb in uh, the uh, uh, in infrared radiations that heat so whatever heat is reflected back from earth into atmosphere is absorbed by all these gases present in atmosphere because of which the heat remains into earth atmosphere and do not escape from the earth atmosphere okay and when this is repeated for longer time the temperature of earth atmosphere increases because because heat is reaching reaching up to earth surface earth is absorbing that heat and radiating that heat back into atmosphere but atmosphere mein whatever gases are there those are absorbing all uh, that that heat and not letting it go into back into uh, exterior atmosphere because of which the the temperature of earth atmosphere is increasing okay now what are the gases responsible for these obviously i, I just told you carbon dioxide methane water vapor and up to some extent a uh, chlorofluorocarbons also okay so uh, and why it is called a uh, greenhouse effect this is named after uh, greenhouses which are built in cold and cold areas uh, th those are actually chambers made up of glass in which glass is also similar property that it traps the heat inside it from uh, from sun's radiation and because of which whatever chamber is made up of glass has decent uh, temperature inside it and we can uh, grow Uh, those plants which can not usually be grown into colder areas so that's why it is called a greenhouse effect but it is actually a natural trapping of heat of earth by a uh, heat of sun by earth uh, by atmosphere earth atmosphere and whatever gases are responsible for those are called greenhouse gases so what are greenhouse gases carbon dioxide methane chlorofluorocarbon and water vapors okay apart from this now what is uh, global warming now we have seen that because of excess use of fossil fuel because of excess burning of carbon compounds and petroleum there is a large amount of uh, production of carbon dioxide uh, on regular basis so this excess of release of carbon dioxide results into excess increase in amount of carbon dioxide into earth atmosphere and when there is excess of carbon dioxide in earth atmosphere that trapping of heat would be greater because carbon dioxide is one of the uh, we can say a greenhouse gas and actually it is one of the major greenhouse gas so because of our uh, because of combustion of fossil fuels the amount of carbon dioxide is increasing in earth atmosphere because of which that greenhouse effect is increasing and that excess of greenhouse effect increases earth's temperature which is called global warming and it is actually just an uh, we can say a a a assumption that every year temperature of earth's sur surface in uh, increase by 1 degree celsius 
Now, what are the harmful effects of global warming? Because of global warming, the temperature of Earth's surface is, is increasing. That's not a big problem for, for, a, for a large animal like human. But there are many microbes. Every year when the temperature increases, number of microbes die and number of new microbes uh, uh, take birth. And because of which we can see number of pathogenic microbes are there like Ebola, N1H1, swine flu, now their number of uh, even dengue, the number of uh, increase in these type of diseases every year, every first or second year we find these type of new diseases in our world. So this is because of uh, death of older organisms and birth of newer microorganisms. Apart from this, increasing uh, temperature is uh, affecting glaciers present on our pole because of which those are melting and as a result uh, the sea level is increasing which is a big problem because if sea level will increase it will result in larger uh, consequences in, in, in terms of fluids and apart from this so okay so uh, it's a big challenge obviously now what are uh, the ways by which we can control it first is obviously to reduce or cut off the use of um, fossil fuel which produce carbon dioxide now it is actually impossible to just eliminate and we say that okay we won't be using carbon dioxide we won't be releasing carbon dioxide anymore we won't be using coal and petroleum anymore because it is creating global warming because actually they, those are related to our economy so what we can do we can find out some alternate ways like we can use uh, solar energy wind energy but actually all these are present in very smaller amount and these are, are not actually able to fulfill our all the requirements so what we can do we can uh, look forward for nuclear fuel but again the, that nuclear energy has some uh, serious issue with it so there is something uh, uh, known as future fuel can you tell me what is the future fuel we are looking now yes that is hydrogen because combustion of carbon produces carbon dioxide and heat but combustion of hydrogen produce water and heat and that is in largest amount because highest calorific value is of hydrogen so hydrogen would be a best fuel because it is present in unlimited amount in our universe and on combustion it produce water and not, a, not carbon dioxide and produce tremendous amount of energy so all the problems would be solved but the only main problem with this future fuel why, why it is still a future fuel the reason is it is not safe Whenever the, the mixture of hydrogen with air is explosive, I think you know about hydrogen bomb and how does it work. Okay, all the best and stay tuned for more videos of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry and don't forget to subscribe and give your feedback. Thank you.